Okay, and Sam Ridley here. We're back How's for the semi-finals. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a good one. Yep. <laughs> we've got the we, one that we, we all we, wanted. We have, yes. Uh, Daniel Clark is back on stream. I know a lot of people have liked the Blue Red Mode deck. Yep. It's been a lot yep. of fun. Um, doing a lot of winning. And we've also got Rob Catton. Also a lot of fun. Doing yep. a, bit, a bit less winning, but still that's really good. We're going straight on to the feature match area. Yep. Um, so we're ready to go. Players have selected their opening seven. And Dan's on the play. So I feel like I know this blue-red deck very well. This is the third time I've commentated <laughs> on it already. So yeah, well, like, if I get it wrong, then uh, I'm, I'm no good. It's definitely a quick one, cocking a lot of experience with the deck. Yep. And Rob has quite a lot of experience with this as well. He does. Um, playing Transgress the Mind, which is going to meet a swift <laughs> counter. So off it goes. Quite a good start for Dan then. Oh, well, a good start for Rob as well. He's, he's hitting the right disruption. Yeah. Um, even if it's getting countered. And to some extent, that's just the way it has to go. Yeah, I, I mean that's the thing. You have to fight through the counts with this deck. As yeah. I said before, it's a bit, it's a bit difficult. So up to uh, up to four lands already. Okay. For Dan. It gives you players playing for the open turns quite quickly, as there isn't an awful lot to be doing. This is a yeah. Gideon. Uh, no, it's not. Spell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he meets the XL zone. But, um, yeah, I think it's like it's always. It's like a cl countdown clock this deck, so you have <laughs> yeah, like, bit. every time you play a land it's like doom, <laughs> doom, doom, closer to Ulamog, yeah. closer to Ulamog. Um, so another land and a pass from Rob, which is not really what he wants to be doing I guess, he needs to get on the board, which is what he tries to do with yeah, the, uh, the Gideon, but alas. We found, didn't we, that creature lands are pretty good, we... Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so this Westfield Abbey might do some work. It'll create tokens. It'll it, you know, it won't really be very good for Dan won't be able to interact with it. Yeah, basically. yeah, which is yeah, you know, it's the most difficult thing. And, and I mean, it's unlikely that you know we're going to get ten one ones to get there, but uh, <laughs> you never know. But yeah, eventually. Yeah, Who I, knows? I, I, um, so there's a drowner of hope. Uh, a clash of worlds. It's just such a one. such a perfectly named card for this. <laughs> yeah, it really time. is. Yeah, <laughs> it's such such aptly named. Um, so. We had three on board, didn't we, in one of the feature matches, and it was just like... Oh, yeah, it was, it was yeah. too much. I don't know, the hope gone. Another land for Rob. Here we go, sorry. Nope. Oh, Linvala. Not, not doing lots of work, yeah. but uh, at least just being your counter spell and not, yeah. <laughs> not being a slightly... Yeah. I mean, Dan missed a land drop last turn, which is a little bit hopeful for Rob. You know, yeah. If he hasn't drawn another one, which he hasn't, then... I mean, okay. He's not casting Drowner of Hope this turn, he's, he's casting a, a Jace, which is... I mean, it's still, yeah. still, still pretty good. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. we haven't seen a lot of Jace in this format. I know a lot of people said this isn't. Well, it's definitely not the best Jace. No, no. Uh, not up there with the good Jaces either. Really, um, no. it's a fine Jace. I think that's the way to okay. put it. A fine Jace. It's, it's a fair Jace. I'm like it, most people Jace we've had yeah. in the past. Uh, uh, it's basically Obnixilus, but with blue. Okay. I mean, it, it bounces a creature instead of killing a creature. You get to scry instead of losing a life and drawing yeah. a card. It's a very similar Planeswalker, and it's just met its end. Yeah. The Path of Ruin. Which, yeah, flavour-wise, that might be a spoiler for, <laughs> for the set that we're about to have released. Possibly. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We will find out. Yeah. Um, uh, there's the, uh, the sixth land for Yeah, and it's, it's Major Network, so we saw Major Network with like six counters on, haven't we, in, mm -hmm. in the past. So this is a, yeah, Hedron Archive. So yeah, Dan, Dan doing his thing, ramping up, trying to ramp up and hold up counter magic at the same time, which is very important. I really like deck. this cycle that they sort of created with the Hedron Archive, Mindstone, and the yeah. six mana one that I will remember the name of at some point. I'm sure the Twitch chat will be screaming it at me, but um, yeah. yeah, the one that was in. Yeah, it's I a nice little cycle. It makes a lot of sense. Either, but yeah, uh, yeah, I know, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Hedron Archive? No, that's right. Yeah. Anyway, no, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're right. It's something else. Hedron, Dreamstone, Hedron. Oh, got, there, got there, got there. Got there. Uh, the meanwhile, Gideon's it. being special again. Yep. He, he just keeps meeting shrivels. Yeah, I mean... Poor guy. I'm sure he'll be yeah. back at some point. <laughs> Same, yeah. You know. I want to forget the quad Gideon game again. Yeah, that was, that was impressive. <laughs> that was really impressive. So uh, This time, Cat on, on the winning side, of it, hopefully. Well, he, oh. so we've got this Drowner. <laughs> yeah, this isn't looking good already. Um, it's unlikely that... The actual drowner is going to do yeah. a lot of surviving. But I, I the, think the, that's going to die very quickly. Irrelevant. Yeah. So they also just cast Ulog next turn, right? If he if he draws. Yeah, it. if he does draw, yeah. And if not, they can just draw two cards in the turn. Oh, oh that's a nice answer. Hand. That's pretty good. Yeah, nice clean answer anyway. Yeah. Second I guess they'll put cameras on me. I've yeah. just realised like he's he's taken about yes. five points of pain <laughs> so far. Yeah. He has. So we floated the two signs, mana, two crack your head on archive. Sensible. Dr drawing a Chandra and another, <laughs> another drawing. Yeah. And another head on archive. Seems strong. Yeah, it's just I'll just draw the cards that I've gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah just, Why not? You know. Let's keep going. Yep. And he's up to seven mana now. Well, seven lands now, so mm -hmm. his uh, two shrines. 
tap for a uh, tap for two each. Mm -hmm. So that Hedron Archive is quite uh, quite cheap. Yeah. Well, see what well, seems cheap yeah. anyway. I mean, it's yeah, nearly soldering at that point. Right? Exactly. Like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> so we're not far off. It's almost the same. Yeah, you know, <laughs> just 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 a little bit. What is it in play, right? Like it's, it's always better. Um, well, well, yeah. So we've run back over Drowner. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't know what to say. It's it's difficult to, to beat Drowner, 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 Ulamog. Yeah, it is a little bit. Especially when you just can't resolve a Gideon. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, when basically nothing that you've cast has actually resolved other than like <laughs> drawing cards, which yeah. isn't that relevant right here. So he takes two from that, down to 13. <laughs> yeah. Unlucky for some. If Tristecophobia was in play, he would, uh, you know, he'd be dead next yeah, to him, would. but who knows. Yeah. Well, it's not, well, it's not great. The Languish taking down the two Scions. Value. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Take yeah, it's, down. Not, it's not even a, a one for one, it's worse. No, it's not. With a 5 5. But it's not going to do very much else. Well, no, like, yeah, I mean, hey, it's the best use of that card, and if you have the mana open, why not? Yeah, exactly. It's another shrine in hand for Dan. And another two cards to be drawn off that Hedron Archive, which yeah. I think is probably going to happen quite swiftly. Yeah. I mean, so Rob, Rob said this in the past, this is a terrible matchup. Oh, it's awful. The deck yeah, yeah. Um, and part of the reason you've got it on, on stream is because it is, it is so one-sided that it's going to be pretty good to watch. The thing is, every time I've watched Dan play, he's had a really good matchup. Okay. So, like, it's kind of a bit like, it felt like we just, we'll put Dan on and he'll slap someone around for a little bit. It'll be really good fun, <laughs> you know. Because um, he played Travis on stream and that was pretty yeah. bad. He actually played Black, black White, I yeah, think. It was Black White Eldrazi. Very simple, which, I think the Eldrazi deck is actually slightly better against yeah. this, which is unfortunate because... <laughs> he beat that one fairly. Yeah, he beat that one pretty yeah. easily, so he only yeah. lost the first game. It's important that Rob hasn't drawn any shambling vents, which could help yeah. for A, the, mitigate the life loss that he's accidentally accruing, and B, generally uh, <laughs> do some damage to Daniel. So Rob's down to one. And it looks I mean, like secure the dead. wastes. Locks. Bit. Yes. But Should have come here back to Dan has Kozilek's return in hand as well, so even that doesn't really get oh, him out wow, of it. Oh, yeah, he does. So I don't really see any outs here. Um. <laughs> but I don't know. I think this is kind of a uh, game over, but maybe I've spoke too soon. I've done it in the past before, and yeah, I'll probably hey, do it again. Hasn't. How are we doing this? Cocky's thinking, what could he have? What could he yeah, have? Exactly. Could he yeah, exactly. I was like, can, can I possibly lose this game? I think he's going to activate the fumarole as well. Wow. Yeah. For that one damage. But yeah, yeah. One I mean, it works. It gets through his Coast Locks of Turn if something bad happens to it. Yeah, I suppose I if Rob has secure for three and, and a real for the Drowner. Yeah. But the secure kind of. Yeah, get, gets. Oh, wait, no, he's tapped out of red. So okay, so like if he has secure the waste, he survives. It's just oh yeah, yeah. A lot of thinking going on. Is Rob just trolling us? No, he has the, he has the secure. Okay, okay. Yeah, there you go. And the, the fumarole was not the right the right play. Right move, yeah, unfortunately. And the yeah. Westvale Abbey is in play as well, actually. So he could actually come out of this. Okay. Thinking about it. And just so he, he makes, has the life he makes guy. is that eight? Yeah, eight eight one ones. Block, block, block. Ah uh, no, he still he still has no, to block, block with four. Them. Yeah, so he has four left. But so if he rips a guy, no, no, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I mean it's, it keeps him alive. That's the important thing. <laughs> that's the that's the message here, guys. He's alive. He's alive ish. He's well. He's yeah, not well. <laughs> that's, that's just not true. I mean Dan's look at these two spatial contortions thinking, do I bother? Like <laughs> So So oh, four block Foste. Yeah. And uh, down go the elementals that were kind of going down anyway. Yeah. But, Still seems like a bit of a miserable situation for Rob. It does. It's a real shame you can, you know, leave one, one more guy. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like only we had. It is one more actually. If we get, oh, if we have a uh, shambling vent off the top, can we activate shambling vent? Well, it comes and sack. 
It doesn't matter. I feel like Shandy Vett and sack it and make an almond oil. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because we have four guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't yeah, have any creatures, yeah, so. Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. Or another secure. Because, like, make, obviously that massive guy, Almondale, our bro. Soren keeps him alive as well? Assuming it resolves. Or which it will, because he's no matter. Yeah. Cotton tapping out of blue and Ooh. red oh, here. Oh, just. I mean, I think he's still dead. Like, he kills this, makes a land into a 4 4. I think it gets double spatial contortion in the turn. <laughs> And then kills Lex with turn to kill the, the yeah. warriors and then in for the last point of damage. I think that's probably the play, but. Well, we could even just wait um, only special contortion once and then let the. Kills Lex turn to the rest of the damage and then leave the Yeah, that's true. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like that, that, that's a bit more efficient, is, actually. Yeah. Not, not by much because we have to do it in the, in the next turn. And it's, yeah. But I mean, it's he, he gets to draw two cards at the end of this turn then. Yeah. I mean, he's supposed to get to do that anyway. There's a, lot yeah. of, there's a lot of ways that Rob is dead right now. <laughs> Yeah, not sure on how, but I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go, down it goes. Shows him the Shows Kozlai's the return. Kozlai's return, and I think that's going to be it. Is he gonna make, 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 make it do it, make it do it, make it do it, Rob. No, oh, no. okay. Yeah. That's unfortunate, you almost got back to parity there. Yeah, I mean... I mean, he still had two more cards to draw off that hidden archive, but, mm -hmm. you know, it was it was closer than it could have been. Yeah, I agree. Closer yeah. than it probably should have been. It's closer than it should have been, been. yeah. yeah. Um, so, we got to the sideboard, the first thing that Rob does is slam the Jurassic <laughs> to the front of the, yes. the pile. He seems strong here. Yeah, definitely. Um, so here's the sideboards. We have Transgress the Mind, which I believe will be coming in for Rob. Um, yes, definitely. That happens for Susan, let's see. Yeah, maybe Reality Smashers, because he needs to win quickly. So, I think they yeah. probably come in. pre the Mog. Yep. Thought Not Seers probably as well. Yeah. Uh, it's a very, it's a very short, yeah. I don't think Displace will come in because you don't really want to bounce Ulamog that often. But also, yeah, you don't want to turn on Dance Removal as much. I suppose bouncing Ulamog doesn't really do anything. Mm. But it's the cast trigger that you want yeah, to use. Yeah, so I mean, I don't know, maybe that's an option, but uh, I think Dan probably brings in his thought as he is. Yes, I think the, the gates definitely come in. Yeah. Probably Dispel as well. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, Rob uses a lot of instant speed removal. Um, on, on specifically Drowner and Chandra, well, yeah, we got the uh, anguish I'm making. Yeah, exactly. It's good against yeah. that. Actually, I don't know, is it only good against that, thinking about it? Because Rob probably takes out quite a lot of the... Grasp like, and yeah, all like the prices. Well, all the prices don't hit do anything. anything. Yeah. yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's not. Yeah. Just a gate. Of Nixless might be fine as well for Rob. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of like it was the game eventually, right? I'm clutching at straws. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. there's there's, there's the really not much. It's not a good matchup. Um, we saw Rob board in the beats plan, possibly due to time constraints. Last time we was on camera. Yeah, that's true. We might do that again. Just all in on the beats plan and go for it. I think it's probably his best plan. I think he takes out removal, brings in any creatures, and just tries to win through yeah. creatures. Yeah. Um, hope that Dan stumbles on mana because that can sometimes that can happen. happen. Yeah. Or, or is forced to. Anticipate instead of yeah. counter spells uh, just a bit. Just Unfortunately, to get ahead. the kind of thing is with, with Dan's deck is it doesn't mulligan very much because mm. you can keep a large variety of hands yeah. because a hand with two lands and anticipate is probably a fine hand on yeah. the draw. Um, you know, all you need to do is hit your land drops mm -hmm. and counter whatever you can, and you <laughs> yeah. can counter stuff until you hit your land drops. Yeah. I think we were saying before that you, you basically want to be getting to that stage as Rob where you play two spells. Mm -hmm. Because um, they don't have a lot of blue sources. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And also, like, if you manage to constrain them on mana, sometimes their counter spells cap, like cost quite a bit. Like, Spell Shrivel was a three mana counter spell. Mm -hmm. It's not like, entirely efficient. Yeah, and uh, Clash of Worlds is obviously yeah. terrible at countering the first play. Exactly, if you're, exactly. You know, if we're going so it gets a little bit play. awkward at times. And we do still have the four Shemley Vent and the Westfield mm -hmm. Abbeys. Yeah, exactly. Which, which hopefully, well, they might, they might get there. It does. I kind of want to see. have a lot free. of answers to. Yeah, same. I want to see game free. Uh, Cocking doesn't have a lot of answers to Ormondal. No, I think he can. He can Ulamog it. <laughs> I mean, that seems that seems fine. That's true. Uh, very true. Very yeah, true. Yeah, um, and he can bounce it with Jace and turn it back yeah. into a land. Yeah, which is good. So they're both fine ways. But um, usually, I would imagine that it's quite difficult to. He'd yeah. have to top deck with Jace. It's, it's, yeah, it's a difficult. I mean, I mean, Rob, Rob's predominantly going to be like casting, like secure the waste end of turn. So it's not really like. You're gonna have the chance to cast. Yeah, he's gonna get a hit in, and two yeah. hits in is, is gonna get there. So yeah, definitely. Um, um, we'll see how different it is with Rob on the uh, on the draw because I think the, the 
Uh, on the play, sorry. Here we go. Hopefully no Williams. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I'm just yeah, like like you say. Yeah, we want to see game three. We want to we want to prolong this tournament yes. as long as possible. Yes. Um, just uh, getting our friends on camera is important, and and also making sure that everyone show, showcasing the British Magic time yeah. sort of experience that we've provided. Exactly. Yeah, I think it's been a great tournament. I think people have really enjoyed themselves today. Yeah, I agree. Um, and it's nice being able to bring the the whole feature match area and you know the, the commentary and yeah. the approach that we've taken to it to, to, to other people you know to places where you you wouldn't usually have it mm -hmm. I agree um, you know WMCQ is coming up yep. this weekend and uh, I'd like to be able to I think that that's the long term goal for us do, where, where people can't where can't, people can't always go um, yeah. and there are a lot of people players out there that won't be able to attend WMCQs I mean the great thing about this as well is that it doesn't have to stop there necessarily, you mm -hmm. know. Depending on how, you know, if it if it goes really well, then there's no end to, to how many tournaments we can do. Yeah, exactly. It? It's uh, it's only just beginning. It looks like both players are the beginning. Yep, um, I think that favors Dan, unfortunately. For, uh, yeah, because if they, mm, yeah, like I say, he's got more card selection, yeah. that sort of thing, um, and your one for ones, Dan's much better at one for oneing because mm -hmm. Rob doesn't really. His removal spells don't do anything. I mean, yeah. I know he's taking most of them out now, but there's only so many you can yeah. take out of the deck. So uh, Ruinous Path probably gets stuck in his hand for quite a long part, part yeah. of the game. I think you have to leave a Ruinous Path soon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because of Chandra Jays. Yeah. Yeah. Just saw the, uh, the the planar outburst there as he was riffling through yeah. the deck to that stadium. I think that's a, that's quite a good card. It, you can say, it, even Randomly if it's just one uh, for one's drawn over, that's, that's the, fine. And the Hedron, uh, what's it? Hedron Archives as well, mm -hmm. right? So, like, it's relevant. Is it? Is it no. Just, no, it's not. No, it's just, I think it's Planet Cleansing. Planet Cleansing. Ugh. That would I be awesome. Planet Cleansing. Oh. I would I'd love that card. Oh, I miss that so card. Good. It would be so good in this black white deck as well. It would be absolutely yeah. nuts. Yeah. I mean, you'd kill your own players. You're absolutely more because but and you're stasis, maybe not stasis snaring, but no. so it's fine. Yeah. I think it'd be quite good. Yeah, it would. But yeah. Some nice camaraderie there, sharing paper. Yeah. That's what that's we nice. like to see. It's what, yeah. It's what it's all about. It is, isn't it? Yeah. We're all here to have fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> especially when, yeah, you face with a matchup like this. And then yeah, especially when you're winning, like, 1-0 <laughs> up. You're like, yeah, you can have yeah, whatever you want, really. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we've both got uh, moles to moles to six. Now... It's been we've had most, most of the, uh, the we've had the scry mulligans for a while now. Yeah. But they still I still like talking about them. It's still nice. It's awesome. It really is. It makes games get it makes games that shouldn't be games games. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. I understand what you mean. So Ooh, you the know, scry off. Well hey. There you go. Was that, was that, was that both top? Or was it? Ah, no turn one dress. <clears throat> Excuse me. No turn one dress. There's no reason to do it turn one or No, I, I can see saving it, but You get an extra draw step out of it, here we go. Takes okay. a part, point of pain. And uh, oh wow! Is that the triple anticipate hand? Jeez, what can you this do? This is what I was Very talking weird. about. You know, it's hard two to lands anticipate. You, yeah, you yeah. two lands anticipate. <laughs> yeah, take the take the land. Yeah, <laughs> if only. Um, no, it's it's difficult. I don't know what you take. I don't know what you do. Do you just take an anticipate? Like that's the thing. The anticipate is not as anticipate. The anticipate is the card yeah. you take off anticipate. Yeah. And there's three of them. Yeah. Like if there was just one anticipate, you could yeah, take the anticipate. anticipate. Yeah. But oh yeah. You know, he's gonna look through. Six cards, uh, nine cards. Sorry, take the eventually. Jace. So he's going to take the Jace, leave the Chandra, because Chandra's quite a long way. Is that away. ruin processor? No, it was a spell. Oh, is it, is it uh, that you drew? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was the counter, counter spell. Oh, read the bones. Read the That's good. quite a nice way to draw out of a mulligan. It <laughs> it's like the the pump fake <laughs> of the counter spell. I'm going to anticipate a response. <laughs> yep, get you land. So Rob's going to take two from that. He's going to be at 17. 17. Yeah. For the and he's just kept them both. Top, top. Good. Well. I think you're both. I saw a Battlefield Forge, so. Okay. Battlefield Forge, nice little innovation. I know I've talked about it already, but I like that. Well, it's a tri land. Well, it's not. It, it's a, it's a, it's a, a dual land. land. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, there you go. There's a Reality Smasher in hand there. Okay. Ooh, Transgress. Transgress is good into the next time Reality Smasher. But yep. obviously, he's just going to take a. Well, he's going to... Crash it wasn't Anders, but wow. He's, he's probably just going to take the, the spell shrivel, maybe. 
because oh. Clash, Clash also counters the... Yeah, exactly. I mean, I suppose you could just take the Chandra and just make him draw something with the Anticipate, but... I don't really know. Yeah, it's a difficult one. I like the fact that he played the land first to make yeah. sure that he was playing around um, Clash Worlds. Yeah. And there's another Anticipate, which is going to turn into that no land. I think it's Ooh. a Hedron on her. I think it, yeah, he didn't find a land though. No. He's got Maybe another he's Drowner for yeah. another Clash of Wills, I think it was. So he's going to take yeah. the Hedron Archive. So if he does top deck a land, then he, uh, he gets there. Nope, another Ooh. Clash of Wills. So okay. he's stuck on three land. Is he just cycling how the lies? Yeah. That's fair. Sometimes I think it's fine, cards. yeah. yeah I think another pain to 16. Especially when Dan's just missed another land drop. Yeah. You know, I, I think you just want to be finding your threats and finding your threats. Well, what, yeah, your it is, yeah. Another read the bones. We're just going to find a clash of wills. Okay. I think that was a bait spell mostly. Yeah, I mean, well, it's nice to have, but. Um, <laughs> oh, pain lands. Jeez. So he's going to run out that, yeah. which is going to find another counter spell. Wow. All counter spells. So he's had a second time. clash. Yeah, must be nice. At least he's getting ghost quickly. Like, <laughs> yeah. We got a good, good flow to it. No, so this, this is the turn really. If Rob yeah. has anything to play, then it'll get through this uh, the counters. Yeah. This is the turn. Yeah, I think it's going to be like the only turn because he's going to anticipate probably find another counter. Let's face it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Chandra's, Chandra's coming he's down anything. next turn as well. Yeah. Oh, that's it. So really, you can't. Yeah, read the rest. You, you can't really. Knowing that, knowing about the Chandra, you can't really resolve a Planeswalker and feel good about it sticking around. No, not around. at all, no. So, because Chandra's gonna boom. Um, you can't really resolve a non, like a, a just like a... Hmm. It just puts you in a really awkward raft. situation. The, the Chandra's really good for this deck. Yeah. And I can see why he's not playing the Gulf anymore and he's playing the Chandra and the... Oh, Raven definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Chandra's great for this deck, you know, yeah. it helps you find it one more, get kills that they become Absolutely board, love and how it's often Dan Cocking uses the zero mode on Chandra. Yeah. It's really, really nice to see. Well, like you were saying earlier, he's played this deck quite a lot and he clearly knows how to play it, yeah. so, you know. It's, yeah, it's and I really think the Zero is an underrated ability. Mm, definitely, definitely, yeah. I mean, I used to, I've played Chandra a little bit in Naya, and it's, yeah. um, I don't know, like, I've used it a little bit, but it's always like, you, you know when you have that one mode on a Planeswalker that you just never use? Yeah. It's just another one of those, it's just kind of, yeah. it's there, it's nice, mm. but... If, for this deck, it's, it's absolutely awesome. Mm. It's like exactly Ulamonk, it's cool. the Drowner of Hope, uh, Chandra and it's an Ulamonk. Jam Drowner. It's yeah. difficult. Yeah, so kind of Ob, but Ob's just going to die to... Ob gets to kill the Drowner and then dies to Chandra, doesn't it? Yeah. Which is, you know, just five on a Doomblade. He could just cast the Thought Knots here. So oh, yeah, take okay, something from hand, take the Chandra. Thought Knots take the Chandra seems nice. Yeah. I mean, he's going to see the Ulamog in hand and be like, oh, crap. Oh, yeah. But we're we're six, away for that. Four, yeah. five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, he's, he's one mana off that. Oh, crikey, I forgot what that yeah, sign yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. We just have to take the Ulamog here. Even though it's just gonna... Uh, like, I don't know, I, I think you... It's, that's really awkward, because... Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then Rob, Rob looks away in disgust. I think, judging by Rob's hand, it, which has Ruinous Path in it, you might just have to take the Ulamog. Yeah, and survive the first time. Yeah. Well, the Chandra yeah. Wrath, which is just gonna draw a card. It's really difficult. Well, the Chandra Wrath's not great, because it kills the Scions, and, okay. and kills the Chandra as well, the Chandra will have yep. to minus four. So, I think it... It, it, it represents a lot of damage. So he's, he's on the prey you don't draw an untapped land game. Which he drew Jace. The Jace. Which is actually uh, quite a good draw here. You could just bounce the Fort Not, fort not and get in for uh, 7 damage. Mm. Which doesn't seem bad. No. But I don't think we're doing that. Nope. You might want to bluff a counter spell. Like. I mean, I, I think it's hard. If he's waiting on, if he just wants to run back the last turn and no, he's gonna jam it. If he wants to run back the last turn and just hope to draw an on top, uh, on top yeah. land. Yeah. That's not a land. <laughs> yeah. That that's a land. Yeah, we got there. So, so pretty so, good land. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So Rob has to find something to do. Pretty pretty sharpish. So, Sandy's Ruinous Path, Obnixilis, I think, is there a Shambling Vent in there? Oh no, there's an Anguish from Making. So, Exile of Two Permanence isn't the end of the world? No, no, it makes it definitely more difficult for Rob to win. Yeah, you, yeah <laughs> I, mean, I agree. I, I stating the obvious here, yeah. but... I mean, 
been the ideal draw there to run to. Yeah, jeez. Really just ruined his batting. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. He needs to get rid of it at some stage. What do you think about the murder reprint in the new set? Murder's been spoiled. Well, I like that. I like the fact that people are, are kind of like going, oh, finally good removal. It's like, this is <laughs> terrible yeah, removal, but yeah. because we've had such bad removal recently, yeah. we have literally nothing else to go by. So. Yeah. So this is a very good turn for Rob. He's managed to kill the two main threats from But also resolve two spells, unfortunately. Yeah. So and, uh, we're going to get Ulamog. Do we attack here? I think he has to. Why, why not? Yeah, like, it's a free roll, right? Well, maybe he wants to protect his orb in case he doesn't Ulamog. Yeah, but what's he going to do? I don't know. There's another Hedron Archive, so I suppose he could play the Hedron Archive and crack the other Hedron Archive, but I think just no. playing Ulamog is fine here. Just kill your two permanents. Yeah. He's going to draw a card. Which is another Hedron Archive. It's weird how these they, they become draw spells in the league. Yeah. It, which it's, is fine. That's why the cards are good. Yeah. Like, so yeah. what do we have? What's our I think it's an Angus I'm making. There you yeah. go. We're going to take three, go down to six. <laughs> Crikey. But, um, yeah, at least Ulamong's gone. Oh, we can activate Shongli but now. Yeah. And... He's going to take a point of pain because he has <laughs> all four caves of Coleus yeah. in play. Uh, and the Battlefield Forge, I don't know if he's playing two. Uh, yeah, two it's a very right painful number. mana base, isn't it? Um, yeah. Considering it's just a two colour well, deck. No, he has a lot of basics, he's just not drawn them. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I agree. Yeah. Currently, it's incredibly painful. I like how much we talk about mana bases. I think it's a really important part of standard at the moment. I uh, think so as well, yeah. I like it. It's created this sort of weird environment where you have six colours and you've got to think about all six of them. Or, or you just play rights and don't think about any of them. Just play, yeah, yeah, you just play all pay lands and you don't yeah. care. Yeah. So I think this is just going to be Fumeral the attack. Attacking for four, Jeez, putting that yeah. to three. Yeah. And it looks like there's a spatial contortion, contortion in hand, so, 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 so yeah, Shamal event's going to yeah. die. It's a shame that we've sort of... we've played around the Ulamog so well that we've died yeah. to the Drowner yeah. and they're all in Painlands. That's what the deck does though. Yeah. You know, I, I think it, you know that Ulamog's there. Ulamog is the card that you definitely know about, so there are all these other things that can kill you, but yeah. everyone's a bit... Um, yeah, Drowner's been really, really good. It's a great card. It is. So here we go, attack with Shambling Vent. This is going to die. Spells rules the draw from Dan. So he now has about infinite mana, infinite draw twos, <laughs> and um, pretty much the game locked up. Yeah. Rob has to take two points of pain to activate his yeah, shambling vent. To gain the two back at end. Yeah, even, so, so it's, it, I mean, he has to do it, otherwise he dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, Hedron Archive taps for two mana to play Hedron Archive with two lands. He's got popping it right away, isn't he? Oh no. Well, I think he's going to tap it to play another Hedron Archive. Yay. Storm count two. <laughs> um, yeah. Rob's going to untap, which is more than I thought he'd get to do this turn, to be honest yeah. with you. I think he's just drawn another land. He's got a ruinous path in hand, but it does nothing on this board. And now he's going to draw two. Two oh, lands. Just lands. More lands. Mm. I assume it's quite land heavy this deck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Annoyingly, he has not put his deck list in spells and lands order. Yeah, great. Oh, he sort of has. He has, though, yeah. I think, though, at the front. Yep, drawing yeah, two lovely. more. There's a negate and an, another counter spell. Still nothing to kill the shambling vent. Yeah. So I don't know whether you attack with a fumarole, I don't just, think you bother. Just to, I think yeah, you just nothing. Wait. Oh no, wait. I yeah, suppose there's another fumarole there, there now, so maybe you... He, uh, Rob would gain one life of all, right? Yeah, so but he would nothing. kill the shambling vent, yeah. so I don't know whether it's worth it. Oh sure, you want to trade? Do you want to trade for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I like that. So I think it's the only way that Rob really gets back into this is by... with shambling vents. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a puff card. We're playing with yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a great card. 
the life gain is insanely relevant, especially mm -hmm. in this black white deck where you're doing so much damage to yourself. Yeah, we, we talked things. a lot about that uh, in yeah. the book. Just thinking about it. Yep. He's just wondering which way to tap his mana. Yeah. Nope, he's just going to stay back go. on defence, I think. We're going to have that weird situation again where you have to make one ones to, yeah. fog, to fog one damage, but that'll cost you one life to create. Yeah, that's really <laughs> weird, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Man, it's to, to the extent that you just might as well let them attack you with the female. No, nope. but obviously you can't. Oh, okay. There we go. There's the three, three scions. Yeah, spawning bed. So nice. nice I thought that card would be a lot better than it was, to be honest. It is sweet. It's good to lose it. Oh, hands drowner. Oh, wait, so yeah, he's just one, right? I think so. I think he should be able to activate. Um, he doesn't have He could. Yeah. He could have activated the few more. He missed the trigger on the Drowner as well. Because he had so many signs in play already, he just forgot to put more. Yeah. <laughs> that seems like, about yeah, right. Just, <laughs> just, yeah, screw it. Just, I don't need any more signs. Uh, are we calling Judge or are we just chilling? Uh, yeah, Judge. Uh, uh, I think that's his trigger. I'm not sure. Uh, I would imagine there's a Judge by the table. I think there's a Judge by the table. Is there a Judge by the table? That's a good question. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's... Yeah, it's Alex. It's uh, Rob's <laughs> Rob's decision as to whether or not it goes on the stack. Yeah, I, I don't think he's going to allow that on the stack. Nah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny that you missed the drowner trigger. I think that's one of the, the least missed triggers yeah. until now. I've seen some weird things with this wise. I mean, Travis has traversed the Uvenwald. Yes. Which was, was one of the most interesting. I, mean, I was there it for was, that. It was, yeah, it was unfortunate. He could, and Chris as well. Chris is. Um, Zero target stasis now. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, both players have just planned too far ahead and lost themselves. I think it's quite an easy thing to do in Magic, actually. It is. You it think is. about the next turn already. These are all the next good action. players as well. These yeah, are good yeah. players like Travis and yeah. Particularly Chris. Yeah, I think we resolved it with Dan, you're an imbecile. <laughs> but it's going to be okay because you're still really far ahead. Because you're miles ahead, <laughs> yeah. So he can sack. Uh, <laughs> I think they're t trying, to d trying to work out like whether he'd attacked or not. Right. I wonder if they've noticed that he missed the drought trigger. I assume they have. I think it's just a missed trigger. Yeah. If he's moved to attacks and attack, then... Yeah, that's fair. So I think, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Dan can either uh, sack the Scion that the Shambling Vents blocks, or he can tap it down with... I think he's going to tap it down there yeah. you go, and get him for two. It, it, does, it works the same. It does the same thing. Uh, not quite, right? No, it does. Because he has to do that at the beginning of Declare Blocks. Sorry, at the beginning of... Well, yeah, he can activate the other Shambling event now, if he thought about it. Whereas before, if he'd blocked and sacked, mm -hmm. Rob didn't have an act the opportunity to activate the other Shambling event with yeah. the mana. So, so actually, that's, that's very true. Yeah, it actually nets him one life down by yeah. doing that. Yeah. Uh, but it's going to be okay. Again, like Cocky not playing particularly well, which is again characteristically uncommon. So Rob should be at yeah two. He just has an extra. Uh... So an island goes into play and uh, passes back to Rob. So I think Rob's managed to find himself an extra turn there that he probably shouldn't have. Yeah, not that um, he can resolve that many spells right now. No, not at all. Um, and so one life he can't activate the top half of Westville Abbey. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> they should have put those activated abilities the other way around, because mm. you really want f mainly for judge stack. How sweet is that, judge stack? Face for judge stack. <laughs> have to have have to activate the sack five guys one. Uh, six mana being tapped. Seven See how mana. this goes. Unfortunately, it's just going. I don't think this is going to go very well. It's a ruinous path. Oh, with awaken. Yeah, awaken. That's nice. And that's not going to. Yeah, but it was nice. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you're uh, right. We had a nice time. <laughs> <laughs> just got counted. Uh, and I, it's not. Yeah, I mean, it's game if you activate the one and a few more. Uh, or if you just taps down the. Shall we vent? Yeah. For what? Yeah. I mean, there's, there's there's various ways in which Ooh. it's game. There we go. And uh, Dan Cockins going to take it 2 0. He is, take it to the final. Yep. He seems to be running incredibly well with his matchups. He seems to he, be just like fading the bad ones. He has managed to do that. Yeah. Well, that well, there isn't a lot of mono white humans here. No, um, I, I, I don't all. think there was any. Uh, which is a shame because that makes usually well received. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, Craig's played that deck at, at the GP and uh, 
some success. So it's, it's an interesting yeah. one. Sloppy. I think he's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's cocky. Play, yeah. <laughs> he's taking a leaf out of Travis's book. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to come back to Luther in just a moment. Uh, we'll get the results of the other semi final as soon as they come in. Um, oh, there's a Sasquatch movement. There is. It was very useful because neither I nor Alex ever, <laughs> never really yeah. played that card. To be fair, it's not really a card that you think about too much. You go, oh, Sunscotch region. Yeah, 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 that card. The, yeah. The, like you say, the, the limited bomb I mean, that runs yeah, every yeah. game. I think Alex played it, referred to it as a uh, yeah, Chaff Rare yeah, number yeah. 107 or something. Yeah, it was yeah, a bit like And that's that. probably about rec accurate. Just check the card number. We'll see. <laughs> You'll see if it was close. <laughs> yeah, but, um, we'll find out. Um, yeah, no, that was another, another clean sweep from Dan, yeah, really. Yeah. Um, I sort of wish we'd seen Dan play his, his quarterfinal. final I, Maybe just for a more difficult matchup. Um, yeah. We'll see if he's tested in the final. We're looking forward to seeing him, and we'll just get the results in now. Um, as for the semi final. I know there's a lot of support for Four Color Dragons on the yeah, Twitch chat. Yeah, there is. Yeah, uh, which, is, which is good. It's, uh, I mean, it's, the most in, it's one of the most interesting decks that we've seen, really. Definitely the quirkiest. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, which is interesting. And we always like to see a homebrew, don't we? Yeah. Especially the one that's doing well. And it, yeah. it seemed really sweet. I mean, it was it's about, a shame it had value. Yeah, and yeah. Just big creatures, yeah. and big creatures seem to be good at the moment. Yeah. A, on, on top of like zero four walls, <laughs> yeah. wall of omens, OP. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, OP. completely broken, broken uh, card, <laughs> bizarrely. Yeah. Uh, so we're looking forward to getting the the last semi final results in. Uh, before we do, we can talk about the two deck lists that were in the other semi final and try and work out ourselves. Because right, I think, okay, I think okay. as much as this is an unpopular thought, I think the green white tokens deck is just so strong, and all the cards are so good. It's green white tokens versus three color, sorry, four color dragons. Yeah, I mean. I, feel I, like I, I kind of feel like Green White's going to win, but yeah, but that's an unpopular decision. I don't want that to be true, but okay. I mean, you you go against me then. I'll I'll take Green White too. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You, I'll you take Green White. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm card favorite. So apparently they've just gone to game three. Oh, they've just so. gone to game three. So um, so that's I mean it's it's, it's a it's a match. That's absolutely yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah. At least, uh, at least they did well. Um, I know Cocking yeah, dispatched Catan fairly quickly. And also, yeah. with the two of them being quite good friends, I think the the match had progressed fairly quickly. Yeah, yeah. There um, was no there was no anger. Or mm -hmm. like stalling or anything like no. that. You know, it was it Cotton's was just kind of like this is a game. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I, and I think Rob kind of went into it with the the opinion that he's probably not going to win this game. Yes. He was just kind of like, oh, well, yeah. Well, sometimes he's going to lose. She wears match up in the top four. And yeah, we'll get there. It's, yeah, it just happens. It's it's yeah, tiebreakers. Yeah. So what else is going on today? Um, I know the the non top eight competitors. There was a there was a draft run at IQ Games here alongside. Uh, the top eight, which is really, really good. Cool. It's good to see that players that come to our events uh, can have a good time. Yeah, definitely. The top eight. definitely yeah. um, we've had a lot of fun. I know coverage has been pretty good. I think we've yeah. held a good standard all the way through. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Some slight lighting issues right now. Yeah. Um, uh, what can you do? You can't, you can't change the weather. I mean, you, you could destroy the sun. We could try. Maybe next time. Yeah, okay, we'll do BMT, that. BMT, no, BMT um, charity event, sun destruction. I don't, I don't think it would be t particularly popular. <laughs> No, and also like know. the Patreon goal would have to be like really high, <laughs> like stupidly high. Stupidly high, but probably not. There. So yeah, um, <laughs> it's not really. So yet. If you have enjoyed the coverage, we do have a Patreon here. We so, do. You know, if, if you'd like to donate, so we can do more of these things. Please do. The link's in the description of the Twitch chat, but it is also just www.patreon.com yeah. forward slash uh, British, 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 British <laughs> Magic Time, which is yeah. really important. That you just get on there, and even if it's just a token gesture, yeah. it would be, mean so much to us. Like one pound. Yeah, it's, it's, it's it one goes, dollar, yeah, it's like anything, a pound. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's pretty much a yeah. pound at this point. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hashtag but, Brexit. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so please please do, please do log into Patreon. It's, it's a really nice thing you can do for us, so it'd be awesome yeah. if you could. Also, if you're really enjoying the Twitch coverage, I know we've got a lot of people working behind the scenes on the Twitch chat, subscribe to the Twitch channel. Yeah. Um, that's something you'll, you'll see more of this. See more of us. Yeah, which is great. Which is what, which is obviously what you want. That's all you need. You know, that's the, that's the reason that you're actually watching. Right? It, it is. Yeah. The banter. Yeah. Um, witty, yeah. witty banter. Uh, we try. We should do some thank yous before we uh, before we go into the final. Firstly, IQ Games Huddersfield has yeah. been really really good to us and BMT in the past. It's a great space. It's a great well, space. Yeah. I really recommend coming down if you're in the north um, to events. I know they've they've run you know uh, RPTQs and yeah. big events here. So great space. Great FNM, great good staff as well. Uh, they've, yeah. really, they've really got it sold here. And, and the Hungarian place across the road does some really sweet takeout food. Oh, great. Yeah. It's really good to get the goulash. It's good. There's, a, there's, a, there's, a, chippy, there's a chippy down the road. There's a chippy as well. As well. Yeah, yeah. You've got everything you need. And the train station is almost within eyeshot. Yep. And, and there's, and there's and a car park down the road. It's I mean, come every, to everything that you could ever Please want. Do. Yeah, Huddersfield it really has is it all. Really, really, really good. IQ Games has it. Yeah. Um, and we should also want BMT because. 
We should do some thank yous there. I mean, yeah, yeah, we've yeah. had, a, firstly, the volunteering commentary team was yeah, really, really yeah. good. Thank Matt you Duggan to us. Thank you to us. Thank you to me. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Ali Sherbrooke, who's downstairs yep. doing the, uh, doing the, the uh, typing and the uh, life yeah. talk changes. As well as Thomas McIntosh and uh, Stephen Pickles, who have been really, really good behind the yeah, scenes. Been great. Unfortunately, we haven't seen them today, which, which is really sort of disappointing because it would be really good for you to get the whole team on and, and yeah. really appreciate what they're doing. Um, no, I mean, everything's been fantastic. It really has. Yeah, it really um, has. Um, and thank you to the players and the Patreon subscribers that are already down. Yes. Because you, you guys are the good guys. And, and You're the real and heroes. And thank you to Travis, yeah. for, firstly, for being on the coverage, but also um, for giving us the beautiful tokens. And for giving um, us a magical moment and, with Traverse the Uvan Walt, which I will learned. never forget. We've learned. We have learned. Um, and that's what's important. Yeah. Holding priority. Is that if he'd held control, yeah. we would have got there. We just didn't. So we're actually going to go to another interview with me, talking more about BMT and why, about why I do coverage. Um, cool. So we'll pass you over to that for a short while, but do tune in again in a short while and, and, and do enjoy yeah, the interview. And we'll have the final. Uh, we will have the final. Yeah, here it should be Dan Cocking versus either Focula Dragons or Green White <laughs> Tokens. Yes. So we'll who, who, would, who would want to miss that? Who would want to miss that? No, no. one. All right. Uh, we'll you. see you shortly. Thank you very much. See you later.